up this episode visiting Tankoko National Park, about an hour and a half drive from Batong. There we were lucky to see three endangered species, the crested black macaque and the tarsia, both primates, and the bear couscous, a marsupial that lives in the trees. The rangers who guided us through the forest were knowledgeable and passionate about the National Park's conservation and welfare of all species who live within the forest. So what did you think of all of this, Steffi? Other than the, the bush smelling a bit like weed. Cool, yeah. Yeah, what did we get to see? Um, couscous. Macaques. Black-crested macaques. And the who? Tarsia. Tarsia. They were tiny, and weren't they? Hornbills. yeah. Oh, we did see the hornbill. Back in Lemba Strait, Che joined me for a number of night dives where we caught sight of nocturnal activities of some fascinating creatures. Nestled in between friendly dive resorts, our three boats made the most of diving opportunities and the tours organised by resort managers. We'd seen endemic wildlife, experienced unique cultures and shopped in both Batung and Manado for boat essentials, fuel and food. So cool, this is like a scooter ferry. That's so funny. And they're still just sitting on their motorbikes. A lady with a baby just standing on top. Oh, brilliant. After two weeks, we were ready to push south toward Gorontalo, a town less familiar with cruising visitors. But we'd make a few short stops along the way. Just another in Indonesian town that we're exploring. Yep. This is quite cool, this one, this isn't is it? This is quite pretty. It's not Down by the water. The girls have been accosted by locals again, haven't you girls? Yes. What have they wanted? Photos. <laughs> it's a pretty cool bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Cool until it breaks. That's quite a reception, team. Yeah. This is the norm when we come to shore. Our kids end up having to do photo shoots. Welcome to Bouda! 
Thank you. Okay. All the kids leaning on the door to see what it is we're buying. <laughs> It goes on and on. They're looking for brave sailing. <laughs> you are welcome, you uh, are <laughs> <laughs> so on Google Translate, this is what we've just been asked. It's brilliant. Love it. So no thank you. <laughs> so this is where we're having dinner tonight. Nita is getting it all organised for us and we've got lots of town folk watching us again. So no doubt we'll have yeah, spectators. <laughs> Nita, she's coming to be our hostess this evening. Nita's trying really hard to teach me how to make nasi goreng. I'm not so sure I'm a good student though. It took five day hops to reach Gorontalo from Batung, and once there we circled the harbour, struggling to find an anchorage around 20 metres so we'd feel comfortable enough to stay. In one spot, we couldn't get the anchor set and were devastated to see the beautiful fan coral we'd brought to the surface. So we've anchored outside a fisherman's house. This was where we could just find that was shallow enough to anchor. And he's come to see us this morning. This is his big boat. And he's going to put his outboard in the water. He's so excited that we have an outboard too. And he's going to come out and pick up Dave and Che. And what are you going to get him to do, Dave? I'm going to buy two new start batteries for our main engines. They're both, um, well, one of them in particular has died, but the other one was bought at the same time, so we'll get two. So it's, uh, it was quite interesting trying to use Google Translate, wasn't it, this yeah, morning? That was very hard. Um, I think the small writing on the phone is really hard for them to read, and when we say it in our amazing Indonesian accents, I don't think they can actually understand us. Especially the, the older people can't understand us, can they? Yeah, just that guy in particular, I think yeah. his eyes maybe yeah. are struggling. Dun, 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 dun. Here he comes, come to pick them up. He wanted to earn some money, so he's going to take them to town. It's always a little bit easier having someone that can take you. We could end up anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a homemade pump today. <clears throat> That's really cool. Here they go, they're off shopping. Dave's just gone over to the Coast Guard boat with our passports and our boat registration. And I guess he's just hoping that those documents will be enough because our visas are up to date. Just really hoping that this is not going to be our first situation of corruption, really. I'm hoping that we don't get asked for money for the pleasure of their company. That would just be a bit, leave a bit of a sour taste, I think, in our mouths. But others that uh, we've heard of that have been traveling in the same time as us here in Indonesia have certainly been asked for various things. Alcohol is quite a common one, especially when people check in. Or money. Money is the other one. So we'll just see what we get asked for, if anything. What happened, Dave? Um, they, I think they're used to commercial ships coming and going, and they were really interested in whether we had clearance in and out of each port. And they asked me which port we'd been in last, and I said Bitum. And so they asked for our clearance out from Bitum. And so once I had explained that we didn't have any clearance through any port, in or out, since we've been in Indonesia, they just had a big conversation, a big round table between about four guys on the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of smiles. I really didn't know which way it was going to go. And then they asked if I had a crew list, and I said, yeah, yeah I've got a crew list. And they said, oh, so captain, chief engineer, navigator? Ah, uh, no. Me, my wife, my children. Ah. Oh, well, I guess you don't need to clear in or clear out. Then. So this poor fisherman waited the whole time we had the harbour master checking us out. We had said we would come up here and see the fisherman and his wife. So here we are. We're here climbing up to his house. Let's go, the chairs set up for us. Fantastic! What a view! <laughs> Dave's been worried that 
he has to go up the tree. But uh, this guy is, he knows what he's doing. It's only a bit of a garden. It just makes me feel so bad that we're going to this much effort for us. I paid him. I gave him some money and I gave him slightly too much. Oh, did you? Yeah, and he's just so grateful for it. Oh. We're the winner. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Holy camoles! Did you see it all come down? So skilled. Our new friend dropped enough coconuts for us to quench our thirsts with him and to take some back to the boat. He made all six of us strong, sweet Indonesian coffee with a promise to deliver bananas later. We were happy with the coffee and the coconuts, but he was persistent. He's being so kind, so helpful. What a lovely experience, people. Yes. It's been very nice, isn't it? Yes. What a wonderful morning. There's fire levels of how hot these noodles are. I just stay away from all of that. Up the Gorontalo River. We took Brave up there yesterday, didn't we? Not very far. <laughs> Not very far. It was like a wind tunnel coming down there, wasn't it? It's a wind tunnel and it was dirty. And smelly. restaurant that seemed quite western and built up but it only cost us like 40 New Zealand dollars in total which is I don't know like um, seven dollars each for all of us and it was it was a good meal it was a good meal yeah we actually um, when we went out the other day it cost us four dollars each which is crazy to play tourist in Gorontalo, so we rode in Bintos to a 16th century Portuguese fort built by Portuguese sailors for a Gorontalo king. This is really gross. It's so warm here. Whew. Is it? You've pulled a muscle. It's a man muscle. It's a man muscle. Oh my god, don't tell us that. You pulled it coming up the, uh, up the stairs. If it's a man muscle, why is it in your leg? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. He's got to fill his tank. It's running out of fuel. just handed over a battery to our friendly fisherman across the way. He is uh, super excited to receive it. It's going to hold enough charge for him and his solar panels, but it just wasn't starting our port engine anymore. And in exchange, he has gifted us so many bananas. So I'm just processing them at the moment, trying to get rid of all the caterpillars, spiders, ants, all of that. Uh, and then we'll hand them off to Excelsior and Alba Ventura, who are anchored in the bay with us but whoa, we just got over thanked as far as I'm concerned but look it was you know he, he's super appreciative and that's really cool. A second visit from local authorities reaffirmed how infrequent cruising yachts are here. I first noticed this group clambering over a friend's yacht while the owners were in town. They then approached Brave for what would become a common occurrence of unnecessary visa checks Navy, police, harbour masters, customs, biosecurity and even local council members visiting to state their position, ask who we were and expect a selfie on our yacht. Though tiresome, it seemed a necessary dance to perform. Join us next time when we swim with whale sharks, stop by an abandoned island resort, swim with jellyfish and learn more about freediving.